Hello everyone. Uh, it's been quite a long time since I uploaded anything to YouTube. Well, I checked around the game. Um, sorry, the game. <laughs> I checked around YouTube uh, looking for a full list of explosive vehicles for the video game uh, Fallout New Vegas. And I didn't find anything except a few minor mentions. So, I decided I would do it myself. So, I will provide installments here of just how to find them and what to do with them. Which is, what to do with them is pretty simple, but I just love blowing stuff up. And it really pleases me that there are parts of this game that are explodable. Yeah, I remember there were other video games I've played in the past where you couldn't blow the buildings up. Not at all. It was crazy. And I uh, really wished I could, you know, because I had lots of explosives. But it didn't matter, and they wouldn't let you do it. No way. I guess it would break the game or something. Anyway, uh, we're here at... Uh, oh, did that wrong. At... Uh, there we go. Yeah, Gene Skydiving. The first exploding vehicle in the game after you leave Good Springs is a truck located here at the Powder Ganger Camp West. I wouldn't suggest that you just try to go and blow it up right then and there. You can if you want, but there are four Powder Gangers here, two at Gene Skydiving and two at the camp. It's not a bad idea to take care of them first. What's going on here? Why am I going slow? Oh. <laughs> I didn't have my uh, caps lock on. So, I, so I'm running. A ah, little... There'll be a few highlights, some comments, and critique here. I like to come inside here because there's a sarsaparilla blue uh, star bottle cap here. I uh, collect those whenever I play this game. There's also a key to a locker over here. And some decent stuff in this locker. It changes from uh, game to game. But that's fairly nice. Now the uh, powder gangers back here are busy taking pot shots at bloat flies over here. Now you'll notice something here. When I shoot a powder ganger, which is an outlaw in the game, I get good karma. But this is something I don't understand. If I take their stuff after killing them, it's considered stealing. What's up with that? How can I steal from someone who is a criminal outlaw? Hmm? And they're dead. Like, what are they going to do about it? So, guys, I mean, get with it. You shouldn't do things like that in video games. It makes you look stupid. <laughs> it really does. Anyway, all this karma stuff is... It's false. It's not real. It doesn't have really have any effect. And here's a little game spoiler for you. Uh, when you get to the Repcon testing site or to Camp Searchlight, both have radiation and ghouls. If you kill a ghoul, you get a hundred good karma points. 
So you just kill a few ghouls and all the bad karma you accumulated is erased. Uh, you can you can gain um, up to a thousand good points of karma. Good good karma. Ooh, fun. <laughs> I don't really care. It's just so totally superfluous. So it really doesn't mean anything. Maybe that's what you were trying to to do. You wanted to prove that karma is uh, just a you know a BS story. <laughs> You're right, it is. There's no such thing as karma. Not for real either. Cause and effect, yes. Uh, you have to be careful here. There are mines, four mines at this site. I've only ever been able to find three. Oh, they put these two together this time. There we go. Yeah, I don't have to worry about blowing myself up. See, but again, you've killed the powder gangers, and you get bad karma when you... <laughs> right. When you take their stuff, which is does not make any sense at all. Well, in other parts of the game, you kill people, you don't get bad karma when you take their stuff. Huh? You could care less. Including powder gangers. So, why here? Strange. <laughs> I took that because it's in fairly good condition. I use the extra weapons I pick up as, uh, you know, scavenger parts for weapons I'm using. Oh, goody. Excellent. Anyway, this is the first vehicle after you leave Good Springs that's available for exploding. That one there, the yellow and blue semi. There we go. Just takes one bullet. Woohoo! All right. You see, the uh, vehicles in this game have atomic engines. Not all of them blow up, but the ones that do make a mini nuke. I think it's cool. Well, that's all for now, and we'll uh, uh, make another segment. We'll see you in a little while.